dear learner in this lecture we are going to design a pile cap under lift cord so uh, it is very difficult uh, uh, to design a pile cord uh, pile cap under a lift cord by using css safe software but in this lecture i am going to make it very easy this is engineer hedatullah uh, i am a practicing structural engineer and also a uh, lecturer of bs engineering institute who will guide you in this lecture so hold on tight and let's start so first of all what we have to do we have to understand about pile spacing to understand that i will use excel sheet what i have created previously and i will provide this excel sheet to you nothing to worry about it now um, if you come here you will see the overall specification of our pile now how the pile length will be how the pile width will be and already we have discussed about that in details just here i need to um, identify the minimum and maximum spacing also i need to identify the each di uh, distance of our pile to pile cap okay so here the spacing between one pile to another pile will be if i zoom it okay so here the max minimum spacing will be 3d 2.5d and uh 2. Point, uh, i'm sorry uh, 3d and 2.5d and uh, 2d for friction pile for in bearing pile and for uh, pile rested on rock respectively so uh what is the friction pile and what is the in bearing pile if you see on your soil test report and if you see that for a specific portion of pile capacity or a specific layer of uh, in the layer of pile capacity if your friction capacity is more than in bearing capacity of a specific pile then we'll consider this as a friction pile but uh, if your in bearing capacity is more than friction pile then we'll go for in bearing capacity okay so now what we'll do they have a arrangement where you are able to create okay a pile spacing and uh, its distance everything so what we'll do i'll go for our here the size of pile by using this option we will be able to create our size of pile and here pile spacing okay now what we'll do i'll go to our plan and here i'll take a rectangle i'll take a rectangle here the first thing okay now second thing i'll i, I need the its distance of this pile so to do it i'll come here and i will consider our pile will be 20 so in this uh, design our pile capacity is our pile length is uh, our pile length is 82 feet sorry uh, 90 feet and our diameter is 20 and pile capacity is 82 ton okay so 82 ton means 164 tons okay how, how where we'll use this factor i will uh, tell you later so uh this is the arrangement and if i click here length okay so dia is 20 and our length is 90 so we're seeing that uh, our l divided by d is 54 but uh, for and it's greater than 50 so uh in take not okay but uh as its difference is very low i have to consider it nothing to worry actually okay so actually or maybe it was 84 84 okay so uh, our length will be this is this this is actually our pile arrangement now we'll go for next step so our pile is in bearing pile sorry uh, our pile is friction pile friction pile okay our pile is friction pile and uh so our s max our s s max will be 50 i mean one pile to another pile distance will be 50 first thing you have to understand one pile to another piles uh, minimum center to center distance will be 50 and if you go for uh, in bearing then uh, if you go for pile rested on rock it will change actually okay uh, there's some issue with our uh, formula absorb it now if i 
go here for our friction pile okay so uh, for our friction pile we can see our maximum spacing a uh, minimum spacing should be 60 inch and our maximum spacing will be 120 and our its distance from uh, center to center of pile to pile cap distance pile cap its distance will be 20 inch okay and uh, now we have to go for our and uh, it will be 20 inch so from center of pile if our pile is 20 inch so from that side of the pile from that side of the pile to its distance will be 10 inch so what we'll do i'll come here and for this rectangle i'll take offset for 10 inch see here close it now uh with this arrangement with this arrangement we are now okay to create our pile cap right now we need another thing so how much or how number of pile we have to provide i will come here here is the total load uh, under pile cap okay so uh, i will uh, sum this total load this load is in keep i'll open our calculator Two six zero point zero eight plus two nine two point zero one plus three zero seven point six nine plus plus three four five point four five. So this is the total load actually i'll copy it Control c i'll paste it um, let's say here mm. okay uh, let's say lift core one okay I'll, pa I'll paste it here this is the value of our pile or load okay now uh, i need the number of piles so what will be the number of pile this is the load of our pile actually okay this is the load uh, of our pile uh, or sorry load bearing capacity of our pile 164 but uh, to find out the pile cap size uh, sorry pile size we have to add some extra load on it the I mean pile cap load also okay so, so if we go for pile cap load i will consider that our total load will be uh 1.10 percent of total load okay our pile cap uh, will carry uh, 10 percent or 5 percent so uh, to find out that to find out that uh, i'll consider that uh, it will also carry um more than 10 percent load with your uh, with its pile cap okay so uh to find out that i'll just come here uh, this plus 0 0.05 let's say five percent okay so that is the value our, our total value okay now what we'll do actually i'll go for our next step and i'll find out the number of pile nos number of pile will come here i'll come here and i'll divide it this value with our pile capacity so we need 7.34896 nos pile so i'll consider we need eight piles total total eight pile okay so uh, now i need to create an arrangement for eight pile actually okay so uh, i'll go for it first of all i'll open a default detailing parameters here uh, let's go for eight pile this is for nine pile this is for eight pile okay
so as this is a professional work as this is a professional work i will not go for these types of arrangement for eight pile i will go for nine pile actually i will use this arrangement these types of arrangement to provide our pile and uh, i think uh, it will be better because uh, by if i go for these types of arrangement if i go for these types of arrangement let's say let's see here uh, if i go to our plan see it will not be suitable for us so if uh, i use a arrangement like this a rectangular shape or a square shape arrangement it will be more suitable for us so i'll see this distance from this point to this point it's 11 feet our distance is 11 feet and 8 inch and here it's also 11 feet 8 inch and if i see you our diameter of pile is on feet 8 inch that means 20 inch and distance from center to here is 10 inch okay okay so in every side it's already done now i'll go for our uh, arrangement that this section is suitable for it or not so what is the size actually 10 feet 11 feet and 8 inch so i'll come here i'll create a rectangle here 11 feet and 8 inch sorry 8 inch 11 feet and 8 8 inch done okay I'll select it copy it with respect to this point i'll try here so this size is this size is more than our required size so i think uh, it will be okay without any problem in that side it's also okay so if i uh, go for long direction or distance of long direction was distance of long direction was 11 feet and 6 inch almost but we have 11 feet and 8 inch so it's uh, more than our required value right now what we'll do i will uh, go for as uh, we have 9 pile and it's uh, more than our required pile so i hope uh, it will be okay for us here one one two three on two three and on to three here also you have to provide a pile in middle yeah now what is the distance between two pile here four feet and two inch that means four into eight 48 plus two 50 inch and if i come to our excel sheet it's 60 so what we'll do actually uh for our case as our uh pile is 90 feet length and it will rest on a very hard layer and it will be in bearing pile so i'll uh, change it in bearing pile and distance will be 50 that means 4 feet and 2 inch so it's 100 uh, percent okay now if we go for uh, 3 pile in x direction and uh, if we go for uh, 3 pile in y direction so our size will be 140 140 that means our total distance will be 11, uh, 11 feet and 8 inch and if you come here or if you see here it's 11 feet 8 inch okay so we are absolutely done now i'll copy it i'll copy this section i'll paste it here i'll paste it here and um, okay okay i'll remove it i'll uh, select copy so 
so here at middle we have to put it now we'll go for our next step so what will be the next step our next step will be drawing this pile cap and uh, in our css safe and we'll go for analysis and design okay so uh, done now we'll go to our css safe software and we'll com um, complete our next step so in our next lecture i'll complete that thank you thank you very much